The sweltering heat making living conditions for some uncomfortable for those without air conditioners. And a number of you have called us complaining about landlords who refuse to fix them when they break, asking what can they do. Reporter Andres Valle is looking into your rights and meeting one person who says her apartment feels like a furnace. Yeah, Doug, Shelly, these hot temperatures making life unbearable for that one renter here in the Northeast Heights. She says multiple units across this apartment complex has been without AC this entire summer. Numerous fans blowing hot air inside this Northeast Albuquerque apartment. The tenant's air conditioning unit has been out since the beginning of the summer and a family member from the household speaking to us about her struggles, asking to conceal her identity for fear of retaliation from the apartment complex. She has called them emailed them and they say we're working on it and so she ended up having to get a window a window unit the tenants dealing with this problem for more than a month we reached out to our legal expert john day about how a tenant should go about getting this problem fixed he says it all starts with contacting your landlord first thing a tenant ought to do is give the landlord notice in writing it's really important that that be in writing because the, the way the laws are written the landlord has to have a written notice of what the issue is. Once written notice has been given to the landlord, the renter could send a notice of abatement, which in the state of New Mexico means that if a landlord fails to complete repairs within seven days, they can begin to withhold rent. But John Day advises to seek professional legal advice first. The, the next month, the tenant can withhold amounts of money that are equivalent to the days that the house or the apartment was unlivable. But it's really important that uh, tenants are very careful in when they're doing this um, because you can overdo it. You can get into a situation where a tenant can be evicted. And in order to avoid that eviction, Day says it's really important that you have numerous evidence of written notices to your landlord. He also says that you can't just stop paying rent to your landlord. You also have to give a written notice to your landlord that you are expecting to do that. Reporting Northeast Albuquerque, Andres Valle, KOAT, Action 7 News. Our legal expert says it's very important to read your lease carefully. Landlords are not required to provide air conditioning if it's not listed in the lease.